for you, Yozo. Thank you. Happy Sunday. So generous. Mm. Hey guys, Jeff here, and today uh, we are making a very healthy, wonderful, uh, lovely weeknighter that you can pull off at any time. Uh, lamb steaks, lamb rump steaks, uh, over a white bean garlic puree. Stop hitting the bench. Sorry. Uh, if you... Uh... <laughs> I need a cough. <coughs> Uh, if you think hummus, you're kind of in the ballpark. It's not quite the same, but it's very similar. And we're going to dress it with a lovely fresh salad on top. It's uh, it's going to be beautiful. Let's um, let's start with the puree. I let's. think yes. Okay. All right, puree. So I'm going to start with a can of white beans, cannellini beans, is what I'm using. There are a couple of varieties that would work. Uh, nothing that's got colour in it because it'll look like brown mush and pretty gross. Uh, okay. Give these a rinse. And if you haven't used these before, they kind of come like that in the liquid, which you just rinse off. Okay, so we just pour these into here, into our uh, magic bullet. Two garlic cloves, we'll just give them a smash. And take the very annoying skins. Yes, I really want to consider all the chefs are just going to talk down to me, but I really wish that oh, we could just buy peeled garlic in the cryovac, you know. Yeah. Oh, I hate peeling garlic so much. All right, I'll just give it a very rough chop because we're going to uh, pulverize it, so it doesn't need to be um, anything. Oop, man overboard. Anything fancy. There we go. Scoop that up into there. Perfect. One lemon, juice of. I wonder if this one's got, yeah, it's got seeds, so just through my hand, drizzle that in. Uh, I never measure this, so please don't ask. Um, a solid glove of uh, olive oil. Did you just say glove? Did I say glove? Yeah. A solid glug. Right. Glug, yes, a solid glug. So we just want to go in there. I'm guessing it's about... What, Three yeah, so tablespoons. A, a quarter cup or something, yeah, a couple of tablespoons. This comes out really slowly, so it looks like I'm putting in a shitload and I'm not. There we go. Uh, a few cracks of our best friends. Uh, a bit of pepper. A bit of salt. Just a pinch. Not too much, not too much. Now onto the bullet. Now, um, generally I need, so you've got two options here. Generally I need to add a little bit of water to make this work with a bullet anyway. Um, you can make this as a drizzle over sauce, which ends up being in the same ballpark as tahini, sort of. Very different, but using it in the same way. Or you keep it as a puree like we're going to do and keep it quite thick. So you've got to manage the liquid carefully to not thin it out too much, but I'll see how it goes. Because the lemon was quite juicy. Yeah, you can see that's not blitzing, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water. So I just added a couple of tablespoons of water. Dunzo. <laughs> it's stuck. There we go. All right, let's have a look. Thicker than that. Oh, can you stop slurping those? But the flavour is. Calm down, you gotta taste what you cook. Mm. Can someone tell you? Mm. You're done. Delicious. Set that aside. Now we do serve this at room temperature. You can warm it, but you absolutely don't have to. Um, okay, next. Star of the show. Mm. Get rid of the uh, Nutribullet. Um, lamb rump steaks. 
They are delicious, they are tender, they are quite small, um, so you need a few of them. But basically we're gonna grill these up and slice them uh, and, and pop them on the plate. So I wanna treat this simply um, and just, and that is just uh, salt and pepper. So we're just gonna go over. Yum, I love these. They're yeah, delicious. We, these are the ones we cut up to make um, souvlaki too. You can, mm, yes. Slice them up. But generally, um, souvlaki, um, lamb shoulder. Um, this is the rump, but you could, yeah, if you want to just do the lazy grilling way kind of scenario. So my suggestion is the lazy way, is it? <laughs> That's fine, you're, you're the king, Jeff. <laughs> We're due a uh, year loss, actually. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. Though. All right, we're doing that's one it. For Greek Easter, aren't we? Yeah, <clears throat> actually, we probably should do that for Greek Easter. That's it for prep. Uh, I'm going to make a little simple side salad, which I'll probably do um, with a little bit of uh, cheeky music and no annoying vocals to speed this up. These do have a little bit of fat and you can get caught out by cooking, when you're cooking over coals, cooking these too close to the coals and getting flare up. So I'm gonna cook them at the higher level of the Kamado Joe. You're not um, gonna cut that fat? Sorry? You're gonna leave that on? Yeah, I did trim these up uh, slightly off camera. Okay. Um, I don't want too much fat on it anyway. Um, and I like to cook my lamb to blushing. Uh, blushing uh, pink in the middle, medium. I don't like medium red with lamb at all. I think it's a little bit under in my opinion. You do you, uh, that's up to you. You cook it to the doneness that you like, but for me, uh, I think medium rare for lambs would be under. Um, that's it, let's head out to the Kamado Joe and we'll get these grilling. Now you can see I've set this up, if you get a close look here, Yezo, I've set this up with a warmer side with all the coals banked to one side and a rescue side. If this uh, flares up and gets a little bit out of control. Nice city. Alright, let's give these a turn. out on us. Cooking over coals, kids, there's a little bit of fire management involved. Okay, we're done here. Look how juicy they look. Beautiful. Um, we'll get these inside, give them a little rest in the plate up. Lovely uh, Yazo. It is. 
A lovely little um, rocket and fennel uh, salad to just pop onto it. I've deliberately made it quite a small serve to look pretty on video. Sorry, please put more food because, well, it's necessary. It's actually not a small serve. Please. It's fairly decent. Come on. That's, uh, cheers. That's so tender. Mmm. Bit of the salad with it. It does give you the hummus vibe. Um, but it is, a, it is a very different thing. Um, as you'll see when you no doubt try it. But this might be ugly. Mm. Good. Mm. Uh, let's address the elephant in the room here, guys. We've got a few complaints about the frequency of our videos. But at the end of the day... You pay a cameraman if, and if you, you make more videos. <laughs> If you want us to make more videos, help us out. It's free. All you need to do is like, comment, subscribe, and you're gonna get more content at the end of the day, because that helps us. Not only does it encourage us, of course, but it uh, enables us. Oh, did you want us to do it full time? Like everything. Get us paid more and I can quit my shitty day job, and so can Yazo, and we'll make videos every day for you at the end of the day. Um, That's not shit. Yeah. If you want to support, it's free. Like, subscribe, comment. That's the best way to help us out because that uh, gives the algorithm a kick in the ass and uh, gets us more views and likes, gets us paid more at the end of the day, let's be honest, and um, which is a little bit more than uh, scotch money at the end of the month. And uh, we'll make more videos. It's as simple as that, really, isn't it, Yazo? Mm -hmm. I'd like to also address that you haven't been very funny uh, on this video, you're out of practice a little bit. I, I am, yeah, I would need to do a few more just to get warm back up. Yeah, yeah. And I'm what I am yeah. too, so. Delicious. Uh, I do have several videos that I have been pressuring Yasmin to do. Um, they are coming, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Mm. Mm. Cheers.